we'll see the next basic UI component called image. So we're gonna create new folder called image demo. Copy paste your previous project and you will open the project from the new folder. Now, similarly, we need to find the relationship. So display the UI, in, or we say display the image on the screen, we need to create UI image view component and the model which will supply the data is a UI image. So we're gonna follow the four steps. I say UI image view, BG image, we say name. I wanna create the method called load BG image. I will copy the signature, go here in dot m, paste that signature, and then I'll call this method. This is self load BG. Now for getting the NH thing, I can hard code the value. But to get the image data, I need to import the image, right? I cannot write bit byte array and all. So I will right click on this folder structure which is a folder. There's an option called add files to project name. Make sure before you add or before you interact with the browser or the explorer, make sure this checkbox is always clicked. It says copy the entire file in your folder. If it's unchecked, only the reference gets added. So if you change your machine and you try to run this project on that machine, the path of the resource won't be found and you won't be able to access it it will result in crash or if your resource on the same machine get changed it will get reflected to your project so unless given by any documentation if you're integrating any SDKs or something if it's told to copy reference then only you copy reference else by default you make sure your checkbox is always checked now into my given folder there's an iOS level one which is a content folder in samples, there's something called images. Inside images, you have sample images. We're gonna use this image to display in this exercise. You can select the single image, or you can select, you can import the entire folder. So we'll go for importing the entire folder. I say import sample image. So I got the sample image. I got one. So we'll display first the BG. Okay. So we go here. So we first have to create UI image model. So temp img UI image. There's a method called image name. It takes the name of the image. So you don't have to provide any path. You just have to provide the name of the resource. By default, whenever you input any images to your project, they are at a bundle level. All the images are deposited at bundle level. So you just have to provide the name because the path till your bundle will be fixed and internally it will append the slash and the name what you supply. So it's cool. It's very simple. I don't have to manage the path. There is no fold. You can manage the folder structure at this project level allowed. But when an IPA gets created, this folder structures are destroyed. So everything goes at the same level. That makes our life easier as a developer. You don't have to maintain the path. But there's one thing everyone have to understand. You cannot import two files with the same name and with the same extension because at the project level, the folder structures are there. So you won't get an error during the project level. But while creating the target, the resources will get override. So you might get a undesired output. So please make sure you do not import any two files having the same extension and having the same name uh, because it won't give an error at project level neither it will give an error, an error at the archive level so i've created the model then i'll say bg image equal to ui image view allow i will use in it with image instead of in it with frame as a constructor. Now, why? This step follows first and second step for you. 
of the four golden rule step now suppose i create a frame i have to go to the resource folder find the sizes of my image and then i have to create a frame with that size then next thing i have to set image view dot image equal to the temp img fine for this one image it's fine what if i have ample of image in my project say hundreds of images don't we think it's a lot of donkey work you have to do calculate in a frame or oh, there should be one more smart method where i inject the image automatically depending upon the dimension of the image it reduces a frame and it assign that image directly as a model property of image view so we go for init with image now for creating a frame you need four parameters the x the y width and height with the image dimension you get width and height so x and y become 0 0 so when you use this method your image will always be displayed on top left okay fine i just have to make sure that i have to translate it it's a less headache work right when there are many images to see so we always prefer to import the image and we create image view using init with image and then we'll see how to translate the image so first and second step gets covered in a single line i then write the fourth step say add sub view bg image the fourth step now i run my program Oh wow, the image appeared. But if you see, the label disappeared. Now this is because you are calling label layer first and on top of that you are putting a bigger layer. So obviously it will get hidden, right? So it's there but it's hidden. So what we'll do, we'll call VG image first and then the, ah wow, right? Clear? Now, blue color looks very ugly so we want to change it to say orange color oh wow this 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 looks cool now let's try one more exercise with the same i say ui image view pumpkin i want to display the pumpkin so i say void pumpkin oops sorry and then i'll call this method so now this small image i can call wherever i want i copy the same set of instruction into this function instead of bg1 i say 1.png instead of that i'll call pumpkin and I'll run the code. Oh, wow. pumpkin appeared on the screen. As we discussed, it will appear on a top left. Why? Because the origin is 0, 0. Now I want to translate it. I don't want pumpkin to be there. So there's a property called center, which is CG point. So I say pumpkin dot center equal to CG point make and you provide the X and Y coordinate. So I say 200 comma 200. Similarly, we have C direct. Same way we have core graphics point. Now see, it takes 200 from this X and 200 from Y. Okay. So Y axis increment in a downward direction. X increments in right hand side. So whenever you go into the position of the images, always ask for the center position. Conventionally, people give you top left because in other platform we use top left. If you take top left position, then again you want to do a lot of donkey work saying center is the position plus width by 2 and y is height by 2. So please make sure you take center position. So things are going very smooth, right? We are able to produce a screen which has few images, we have few labels display on a thing right now well, let's see how to interact with this component so that we know okay gui is graphical user interface 
so we know how to get the graphics on the screen now we should know how to interact with those graphics right so we're gonna go one step ahead and we'll say we're gonna demonstrate touch events on this UI component which we created 